Today the Bible and other scripture are readily at hand, yet there is a growing scriptural illiteracy because people will not open the books. Consequently, they have forgotten things their grandparents knew. The scriptures are the standard for distinguishing truth and error. God uses scripture to unmask erroneous thinking, false traditions, and sin with its devastating effects. He is a tender parent who would spare us needless suffering and grief and at the same time help us realize our divine potential. The scriptures, for example, discredit an ancient philosophy that has come back into vogue in our day, the philosophy of Korihor, that there are no absolute moral standards, that, quote, every man prospers according to his genius, and that every man conquers according to his strength, and whatsoever a man does is no crime, and that when a man is dead, that is the end thereof. End quote. Alma, who had dealt with Korihor, did not leave his own son Corianthon in doubt about the reality and substance of a divine moral code. Corianthon had been guilty of sexual sin, and his father spoke to him in love but plainly. Know ye not, my son, that these things are an abomination in the sight of the Lord? Yea, most abominable, above all sins, save it be the shedding of innocent blood or denying the Holy Ghost. In a complete reversal from a century ago, many today would dispute with Alma about the seriousness of immorality. Others would argue that it's all relative or that God's love is permissive. If there is a God, they say, He excuses all sins and misdeeds because of His love for us. There's no need for repentance, or at most, a simple confession will do. They have imagined a Jesus who wants people to work for social justice, but who makes no demands upon their personal life and behavior. But a God of love does not leave us to learn by sad experience that wickedness never was happiness. His commandments are the voice of reality and our protection against self-inflicted pain. The scriptures are the touchstone for measuring correctness and truth, and they are clear that real happiness lies not in denying the justice of God or trying to circumvent the consequences of sin, but in repentance and forgiveness through the atoning grace of the Son of God. Scripture tutors us in principles and moral values essential to maintaining civil society, including integrity, responsibility, selflessness, fidelity, and charity. In Scripture, we find vivid portrayals of the blessings that come from honoring true principles as well as the tragedies that befall when individuals and civilizations discard them. Where scriptural truths are ignored or abandoned, the essential moral core of society disintegrates and decay is close behind. In time, nothing is left to sustain the institutions that sustain society 